This video explains how to insert a new column at a specific position of a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step in this video, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame, as you can see in these lines of code using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And then I'm also using the print function to print this data frame below the code box. And then you can see that our new data frame contains six rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. Now, in order to add a new column to this data frame, we also need to create a list object, which we then can add as a new column to our data frame. And we can do that, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this line of code, I'm creating a list called new cull, and I'm printing this list below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created a list object containing six different characters. Please note that the length of this list needs to be the same as the number of rows in our data frame. In the next step, I'm going to add this list as a new column at a specific position of our data frame. And for this, I'm first creating a copy of our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. And then I'm using the insert function to insert our list as a new column. And within the insert function, I'm specifying a certain location at which our new column should be added. I'm also specifying how this column should be called. So in this case, I want to call this column new and I'm specifying the value argument to be equal to the list that we have created before. So after running these lines of code, our new data frame is updated, as you can see by printing this new data frame below the code box. And then you can see that we have added our new column at the third position of our data frame. It's also possible to add a new column at the very beginning of a data frame. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in the fifth code box. So as in the previous example, I'm first creating a copy of our data frame and then I'm using the insert function. However, this time I'm specifying the log argument to be equal to zero. So after running these lines of code, our new data frame column is added at the first position of our data frame. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.